Welcome to the Backcountry Update, April edition, spring edition. I started doing these videos a month ago. Uh, the first of every month, I'm starting to do just like an update video where you get to see what's going on. Uh, you get to keep updated the channel. You get to know what I have planned for the month to come. Uh, it just keeps things rolling and it keeps you informed a little better. Backcountry Update, let's go. All right, I'm gonna dig into my notepad here. I've been writing down you guys' questions because uh, you guys know I, I suck with comments. Uh, so this video isn't gonna be for everybody. This is just going to be for the people who have questions about the channel and uh, what's going on, keep you up to date. So first off, uh, the Muskoka 850, where is it? We're done, we're done with that machine. That machine left on uh, the truck here maybe about a week ago or something like that. It's off to the parts wrecker. Uh, if you are looking for any sort of parts for your Boost 850, and maybe there's still some left of that unit because I think it got parted out pretty quick, you can go over to Altitude Power Sports, and I'll leave their link right here, and uh, see if you can get yourself a piece of that sled. I got a piece of that sled here somewhere. Here's, here's my piece of that sled right here. I think it was just really beyond anything we could do with it. It needed a bunch of parts uh, and we couldn't get most of them uh, because parts availability ended up being a problem. So that's uh, greatly contributed to why that sled did not get rebuilt. Send off to the Muskoka Mobile. We don't have it anymore. The 454, where is the 454? Uh, I got rid of that thing. That was like probably one of the most favoritest trucks I ever owned, but Man, it was just too much of a piggy to keep around. So as cool as the truck was, uh, it couldn't really serve a purpose without costing a whole bunch of money. All right, here's a new one. Uh, fake Sixes Backcountry Accounts and Fake Sixes Giveaways. If we're running any sort of promotion here where we're doing giveaways or contests or whatever, raffles, whatever it may be, it'll be blatantly obvious on the channel that... Uh, that we're doing these giveaways. You're not just gonna get a random message from me saying, hey, you won, uh, you won a bunch of stuff. Uh, send me your PayPal. So the channel is actually at that size now that, uh, yeah, you're gonna get those type of spam and scam stuff. And uh, you just gotta be aware of it. Just gotta be smart. Next, the drone. Oh my God. This is it for you. If you don't work today, you're going into the Tannerite lab. Oh my god <laughs> i i can't even we're done yeah you've uh you've probably been seeing me uh kicking it around uh the gravel road and stuff like that in a few of the previous videos yeah i threw the drone at ben while he's doing the dishes and uh that's the most that thing has been airborne in a little while it was like the day after i got back from that trip there's a, I put a new drone on order. So I got it like just recently. So I've been playing around with it a little bit. Oh yes. <laughs> Sweet. Lots of drone stuff coming. Summer content. I keep bringing it up, don't I? I can see the sled video is actually already starting to slow down because uh, whether you want to hear it or not, people aren't thinking about sledding as much anymore. Not this time of year. I guess for the summer content, I can say that everything for my summer plans for the channel here is either here already in the shop or it's on order and is en route here. So everything for summer content is a go. It's, it's already paid for. It's all here. What's up with the alpha? Yeah, it's been sitting there for a little while now. That's okay. Um, my plan for it is to make it a non-alpha. I'm looking for a 153 to put in it. Why? It's so capable of a sled. I think to make it a little more fun and a little more playful, I'm going to do like a short track and I'm going to do a uh, dual rail because uh, I think I've, I think I've had enough of the alpha skid now. I think, <laughs> I think I'm going to draw the line there. So yeah, that's basically my plan with that thing is to uh, short track it. Oh, you guys want to see a Gen 5 on the channel so bad. Well, hey, look at me. Look at me. Even wearing this, huh? Yeah. Oh, you guys want us to have big problems. This comment literally ends in they'll have all the issues fixed next year. <laughs> the 2014 M8000, the one I'm using for my footrest right here. Actually, while I'm filming this video, I think I got to show this sled a little bit of love. 
Because this thing has been nothing but good to me. And I think it's a little more beat up than uh, I think. Which would mean it's a lot more beat up than what you guys think. Yeah, the 2014. 2014 M8 needs some love. It's been nothing but dependable. So uh, let's keep it that way. It's been a great sled. I don't want to get rid of it. We're still on the original motor after all these miles. The Phaser has gotten out a whole lot this year. Uh, that's another sled that we should show a bunch of love to because uh, it deserves it. And one of the recent videos we went over, thing we, we redid the clutching, which woke that machine right up. Um, just did that recently. Woo! That woke it up. <laughs> yeah, so after we did that, we went through the machine and just kind of picked out what it needed and uh, what I needed to go to Sled Parlor and grab for it was. I haven't had time to do that yet, but that machine we're going to show some love too. But it's got to go out because I've got some more adventure content coming soon. So it's probably going to get out before that. I feel like I might have answered this in one of the videos, but I'm not really sure I did. So uh, I'll, I'll go over it again. The story of the phaser. How did I get the phaser? Uh, well, I've had that thing for probably been my possession for 10 years or something along those lines, somewhere in there. So how I got that was my dad actually texted me one day and he said, Hey, you know, anybody who wants to buy a 86 phaser, 400 bucks. Uh, so I gave him 400 bucks <laughs> that day and there we got an 86 phaser. So yeah, we can, we can do the wrap up on that just to, to finish the build and, uh, that's going to be it. And we're going to put it back into service. It's already in service. We're going to put it into more service because it's working awesome. Speaking of my dad, he is on the road to a thousand subscribers, backcountry stuff, fishing, all that good stuff. All right. I think that covers everything for today and this video and kind of talking about, so what we have planned for the month to come. I'm sure there'll still be some more riding, um, adventuring, kind of, kind of the same that's as what's been happening. So n nothing's, nothing's really changing going forward except, uh, the season and, uh, how I'll be doing the content. Thanks everybody for watching today's video. If you like this video, tons more, just like it. If you're new, welcome. Uh, if you've been here a long time, thank you. I, I know there's a couple of you have been like subscribers for many years. And uh, I thank you for sticking with us. And again, to all those new, welcome. Tons of adventures coming. And I will leave you with that. See everybody in the next video. Womp it. See you guys.